Our project uh, for, for the Department of State, for the U.S. Diplomacy Center, the, the Future Museum, um, was to look at items, issues of governance, issues of strategy, issues of operations. Um, it was a private public foundation, a, there's a private foundation partnered with the government, so it's a private public partnership. Um, they're, they're trying to uh, raise funds, they're trying to build, they're trying to design exhibits, they're trying to uh, collect history of, of knowledge from the Department of State, those past um, and those present that are involved with the State Department, and try to, with, with the end goal of educating future generations, uh, to teach them about the work that has happened and the work that is currently happening and the work that is to come. Um, so we, I think, as a team, we all wrapped ourselves around that. We, we, uh, we, it motivated us. Um, it helped us strive to, to achieve. And, and, you know, we work great together and move Absolutely. forward. So my individual agency is the Department of Defense, Marine Corps. Uh, and obviously our mission uh, is to defend the nation. But more importantly, uh, for the reserve component specifically, is to man, train, and equip, you know, men and women and prepare them in order to potentially deploy in combat situations. So when I came aboard upon this project, I just wanted to bring some of our shared experiences that we think would be beneficial in helping the Department of State in what they were trying to uh, accomplish. And it has been absolutely fascinating and intriguing to be a part of this project. Continuous quality f for the department is, is, uh, is paramount uh, because the Department of State is the face of the nation <laughs> as, we, as we communicate and deal with I nations see. abroad. Um, it's something we strive for. Uh, you know, we don't always hit the mark at times, but it's absolutely something we strive for. Um, and it, it, and it re resonates through all our missions uh, down to every single office. Um, and so it is of utmost importance. What our team quickly discovered upon this project was, was that they were kind of at a stalemate. Uh, you had built this beautiful building, but then, okay, what's the next phase? What happens after this? What are you doing to making sure that the process continues to grow? And so as we began to do our study and, and, and work this project, we quickly realized that there were a lot of elements that were missing that could help you uh, or help better prepare the State Department to help this move forward. And at the same time, create a long-term partnership with other people to make sure that your organization thrives. And, and I think we all believe in the story of the State Department is that the story needs to be told to the American people of the work that diplomats do for our nation. So it, it is something that we thought that was vitally important and we should not let bureaucracy or lack of knowledge of not knowing how to do something stop this project from going forward. Our agency uh, sponsored for the Deming Award because they saw the results. Um, the Team Kevlar put together a book, 365 pages, full of a years long research. Um, it, it spoke to issues of operations, issues of strategy, issues of governance. Uh, Department of State were appreciative of those efforts. They, they uh, employed a lot of those recommendations and they were able to see substantive results. And so qualitative and quantitative. Uh, and just based on that, um, it was a no brainer for Absolutely. them to, to, to nominate us for the award. The effects that a collaborative process has had on our project specifically um, has taught many lessons. It, is, it has taught us to not wait for things to come to a halt and uh, to, to be proactive, to, to collaborate more, to think outside the box, to speak to other groups, other agencies who maybe, maybe uh, does things better. And there's things we can share with others and there are things others can share with us. If the communication doesn't happen, um, it, it doesn't benefit anyone. So that's absolutely something that's carried 
on and on through, throughout our agency. To me, uh, the Deming Award is uh, an acknowledgement that the, the time we spend together as a team, the eight of us, the, the hours, the work, the struggle, um, that it came to something uh, meaningful for others and that uh, it got recognized. It, right. it, kind of, it kind of brings home the fact that all our efforts comes, comes to something which is uh, you know, recognizable. And, and the, the Deming Award is a prestigious award. Yeah. It's been ongoing for years, uh, you know, given to those who have achieved uh, measurable success. And to be a part of that, a part of that company or that legacy that's come uh, before us um, means absolutely a lot. My, my advice to future applicants is to, you know, stay the course, yeah, whether good or bad or whatever struggle you're at at the time, stay the course and work hard and it, um, strive, uh, aim high and just achieve That's and it. just believe you're going to achieve and, and uh, work towards that and, right. and unite around a common thread and, and just move forward. And the end result will be you know, Absolutely. it would be recognition in some way, it would be change in some way, but all, all for good.